mission editor use the guide of objective givers. So I'm back in the dungeon test overworld campaign where we've got the proxy quest set up to enter security codes. And I'm going to use that and some other things here to illustrate how to do an objective giver. Ah, uh, quest giver, sorry. So there are objects here that look like a character, that start off as sort of default, you know, dude in his shorts here. And you can place them at the level that question mark tells you they're the people you go and talk to to get quests. So when we place one, we can select a character who they're going to be. I'll select Adam Zorn, this robot character of mine. I'll rename the quest to give it to Adam Zorn. Um, and what they start off with is a hello speech and an end speech when they've got nothing else to say to you. So I'll go hello, modify that a little bit, it's Adam Zorn. And as he stands now, <laughs> um, he's basically going to have nothing to give you. So we have this, let, let's give him a quest to do first of all. So we'll have a quest where you have to go and use the computer. Um, drop a use quest here, P to make it the default thing, and drop an interactable computer there, um, up against those pots. Um, and this one, the use quest thing, should now have a default description use the computer. And what we can do is in the giver, we can select Adam Zorn now. So this quest has now got him as the quest giver. It's unlocked from the start, but when we reset, we don't actually get it in our quest log. However, he's got a question mark above his head, so we'll go and talk to him. He's an interactable object. Hello, my name is Adam Zorn. I need you to hack some use quest A for me. So it's sort of messed up the, <laughs> um, the automated quest dialogue there a little bit, and we've now got this quest, hack the use quest A, which is the computer. If we go back and talk to him, he will say, have you taken care of the use quest A yet? Mm, no, we haven't. So we'll go over here and we'll actually use this computer. We'll do the quest for him. And then we get an arrow to go back to him again. Um, and he's now got an exclamation mark over his head. Talk. Thank you for hacking the use quest A for me. That should really say computer, I think, should fix that. And now when we talk to him, I have nothing more to ask of you. We're done with him. So let's go and improve that flow of that a little bit, that dialogue. So this um, here, hack the use quest A, that should be hack the computer. Um, and you can see here we've got dialogue settings. We've got give speech, active speech, and turn in speech. I need you to hack, so instead of hack some, you know, this could be diffuse some bombs, for example, a computer for me. Maybe make hack not have a capital H. Have you taken care of that com the computer? That computer yet? And you can put whatever you like in here. Um, thank you for um, thank you for um, neutralizing the death computer. <laughs> you know, whatever's going to sell your story here, really. Um, and then you've also got the start speaker and end speaker dialogue, same as you do for other quests. So if we go reset and save that, um, it will now read like this. Talk to him. Hello, my name is Adam Zorn. And we can use the sex button to move through the dialogue. I need you to hack a computer for me. Hack the computer. The red arrow is now taken us over there. Go and hack it. Red Arrow is now taking us back to him for this quest. Talk. Thank you for neutralizing the death computer. Yay. And then talk. I have nothing more to ask of you. So what we can do further 
is we could take that proxy quest which set up and we can make that one of his as well. Make that belong to Adam Zorn. So just set the giver. And if you've got multiple quest givers, they'll all appear in the drop list there. Um, or let's do it the other way. We can take the proxy quest. We've got a giver there, a little reference button, and we can then click Adam Zorn here. Or notice he's the only red dot in the hierarchy at the moment. And that's linked it up now. Our giver is Adam Zorn. So when we reset, don't have any quests until we go and talk to him. Um, and what's he going to say? Hello, my name is Adam Zorn. I need you to hack a computer for me. There is a computer system in the basement that needs these codes entering. I must have put that in an earlier session. Let's just check where that dialogue came from. The proxy quest has got... Yeah, give speech there as computer system. Have you done it yet? I could not have done that myself. Just change that one. Close. So we've been given this quest to enter the security codes. That is down in another level, you will recall. So we can enter there, go and do the proxy quest. Here it is. Hack in another computer and then return back to the surface world. And enter the security codes has been done. But we've got to, it's not going to disappear by itself. We've got an arrow back to Adam Zorn. And when we talk to him, he says, I could not have done that without you. Yes, you couldn't. Um, and now that one is ready to disappear. There. So we still have the quest to hack the computer. Hack away. And return to Adam now. Talk to him. Thank you for neutralizing the death computer. And mission done. Woohoo, we win. Um, yep, so that's the basics of objective givers. Place one in the map, assign a character to them. They won't be active in the sense they won't be combat characters, they won't fight, they'll just stand there with a marker above their head. Um, and then for the quests which you want to be part of their quest log, assign them as the giver. Everything else about quests applies, like I could make this proxy quest hidden and make the completion of the use quest here. Um, where can I find that? The complete event. We'll add another thing here. We'll get the um, proxy quest to unlock at this point. And there we go. Save and reset. And close. So now when we go and talk to him, my name is Adam Zorn. I need you to hack a computer for me. And that's all he's got for us. If we go and talk to him again, he's just going to say, have you taken care of that computer yet? Go over here and hack the one that's now a level. Mm -hmm. And he's now got something for me. He will now say, thank you for neutralizing the death computer. There's a computer system in the basement and leaves his codes entering. So he's now given me the other quest when I go and talk to him, all in one smooth action. That's um, quest givers for you.